How's it going everyone? I hope you're all doing well. Today I wanted to do a video talking about low-key fashion brands that you should know. Now I already did a video talking about this on the channel already, but I couldn't get all of the brands that I wanted to talk about in that video. So I'm doing a part two. Some of the brands on this list are more established than others, but in my opinion, they're all still relatively low key. I think I've got a good variety of brands on this list, all doing different things. So I think there's gonna be something for everyone on this list. I'll leave links to all the brands that I talk about down in the description below. So if you like the sound of any of the brands, check out the description box. If you like this video at any point, please do leave it a like. And now that's all out the way, let's get into the brands. So the first brand we've got on the list is Picante. So Picante is a UK based brand started by Jude Taylor and Sam Zanuzzi. At the moment, the brand specializes in cozy gear. So a lot of hoodies, sweatpants and t-shirts, and it's all made in Portugal. It's all sustainable and it's all 100% cotton. Lovely stuff. Now, I really like the look of the brand, but I didn't know much about the brand. So I decided to message Jude over on Instagram and ask him a bit about them. And this is kind of what he said. So basically the brand all started from a meme page. I think Jude runs it, I'm not sure, but it's called Soho House Memes, I think it's called. So apparently at Soho House, they've got a cocktail called the Picante. This is all brand new for me. I have no idea what this is all about, but apparently the picante was used as a joke in the memes on the meme page. So because they were talking about the picante quite a lot on that page, they decided to make a bit of merch as a bit of a joke, but people started wearing it. And because the guys who were running this page have always liked clothing, they decided to take it to the next level and make a brand out of it. Now they're not communicating any connections between Soho House or the picante from Soho House these days, it's a kind of if you know you know kind of thing but the brand has come away from that but the brand is all about traveling food having fun and the clothing is the kind of clothing that these guys like to wear themselves which is always the best way to start a brand in my opinion you've got to like the clothing you're putting out some big names have been seen wearing the brand as well like the beckhams cara delavine and drake and also their latest campaign features leo mandela so they're low-key at the moment but I don't think they're going to stay that way. These days, I seem to be drawn more and more towards brands producing good quality sweatpants, hoodies and sweatshirts, probably because I'm living in that stuff the majority of the time. So yeah, this is definitely a brand to check out if you like that kind of thing. Now, some of you might already know or might have heard of this next brand, but it's Lone. And even though they're quite well known in some circles, I think they deserve a lot more love. Lone was founded in 2016 in France, in Paris, I believe, and it was founded by the brothers Swan and Loic Joachim. I'm sure you've already seen these guys online, especially if you've ever been onto Pinterest and typed in men's fashion. These two always come up because they dress really well. But these guys started posting fashion content long before I did, and they're some of the OG fashion bloggers out there. I've always loved and admired these guys' style, and I think their style is quite in line with my own. I do like to dress quite similar to these guys. The brand take inspiration, or the lads take inspiration, from classic and urban culture, so the clothing has this kind of smart streetwear feel to it, which is right up my alley. I love that kind of thing. They create quite simple pieces that focus heavily on the cut of the clothing and the materials used. And in my opinion, those are the two most important things when it comes to clothing. Their stuff is quite pricey, but then it's very classy, it's very functional, it's neutral in color, so it's easy to style and it's timeless, so you are gonna get a lot of wear out of it. The next brand that I wanna talk about are called Applied Art Forms. I don't really know if I can class this brand as low key. They are, but the owner definitely isn't. But at the same time, he is. But I'll just tell you who he is. He's the bassist from Coldplay. But do we know anyone else from Coldplay apart from Chris Martin? I'm just gonna have a drink of this. <laughs> But although they are run by the bassist of one of the biggest bands in the world, they're still relatively new and still relatively unknown. Not only do I love the name and the branding of the brand, I think they do some really exciting pieces. And yeah, I really like the look of them. The style of the clothing reminds me of a mixture between streetwear, 
workwear and techwear. And I think this is what Guy was going for with the brand. So he's done a great job. Even though the brand have not been around long, they already look really polished and on par with some of the biggest names out there. I suppose Guy has been able to put quite a lot of money behind the brand from the get-go to help him get to this stage, but this is not to knock his achievements. He's still done a really great job with the brand. The quality of the clothing is right up there and the heavyweight hoodies, they're some of the most heavyweight hoodies that I've ever come across. I think they're about 600 GSM, which is crazy. I think they're a really exciting brand. I think they're going to make some big moves in the industry and they're going to be a name that we're all going to know in the future. The next brand I want to talk about are called About Blank. Now you may have already come across these guys if you follow the page NCL Gallery over on Instagram. If you don't know what NCL Gallery is, then it's a fashion repost page over on Instagram with quite a big following. Well, a massive following, 300 odd thousand people. But I think NCL Gallery is run by a lad called Jack, and I think that same lad owns About Blank. Now I'm gonna read this next bit because this is in their own words what they describe themselves as a brand, and I'll probably mess it up if I try and say it off the top of my head. So I'm gonna read it. But About Blank describe themselves as producing minimal pieces designed to last, focusing on contemporary unisex streetwear with a nod to sustainability. Now, I'm not sure how sustainable a nod is, but all of their products are very heavyweight and all made from 100% cotton. So that's exactly what I like to see. Their clothing has that boxy oversized fit. So if you're into that kind of thing, then this is a brand that you're probably gonna love. I really like the brand's branding. I really like the name. I love their logo and I think it looks great on their clothing. It's really subtle. It still doesn't stop the clothing being minimal, but it really elevates the clothing and makes it in my opinion. I also really love the look of those green sweatpants that they just brought out. They look stylish, they look comfortable, and hopefully I can get my hands on a pair soon. But about blank, if you haven't heard of them already, I think you definitely will soon. Well, you have now from this video, but even people who haven't seen this video, I think they're a name that we're all gonna be hearing a lot of. We've got a brand next that are gonna be popular with the Gorpcore fans out there next, and it's Parallel Studios. Now, Parallel Studios were founded in Copenhagen in 2020, so another really new brand. They focus on functional and durable clothing that's fitting for any setting, and they offer a bit of everything. I think their pieces look like a cross between outdoor clothing, like outdoor gear, and designer gear. So that's why I said it's gonna to appeal to the Gorpcore fans out there. But for me these days, as I'm getting older, functional and practical clothing that also looks stylish is an absolute winner in my books. I particularly like the, I can't say that word very well, particularly. Yeah, I particularly like their stormproof jacket and also their puffer jacket. I like a lot of their pieces, but these two really stand out for me. Like all of the other brands that I've mentioned so far, I don't think there's one that I haven't said. I love their branding and I think they look really polished and really advanced. But again, with this brand, they look really polished and really advanced. It's really hard to believe that they only started in 2020 and I can't wait to see a lot more from them. We've got a New Zealand brand next on the channel, which is nice to see. I don't think I know that many New Zealand brands but it's Porter James Sports. Now I've been following these guys over on Instagram for quite a while now, and what initially drew me to this brand was their sweats, and especially this piece. I really love the look of this piece. Even though there's a lot of brands doing the whole preppy sportswear kind of thing at the moment, Porter James Sports really stand out for me. I think they've got their own thing going on. I also really like the way they have conversations with people over on their Instagram and share the conversations with you. They have chats with people who are doing their own brands or who've got their own restaurants, for example. It's nice to see they're getting involved in other people's lives, learning from them and sharing their experiences. It's just nice to see and it's slightly different. But I really like the direction these guys are going in. I like a lot of their pieces. I think they've only been around for about a year maybe just over a year. I'm not sure, not too sure. It's not much more than that. So yeah, very excited to see what they're going to do next. So those are the brands that I wanted to talk about in today's video. I hope I've introduced you to something new. If you like this video, please do leave it a like. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Oh, just a, quite a whistly noise there. But thank you so much for watching everyone. See you later.